Since the beginning of the new millennium, a series of freak storms of red, blood-like rain have unleashed panic across the globe. Que sangre, que sangre. In Sri Lanka in 2012, blood rain fell sporadically for 60 days. In Sri Lanka, people collect the rain for their drinking water. The local villagers fear the red water is contaminated. The government steps in to try and stop the growing panic. Well, a team of six specialist doctors have been appointed by the Ministry of Health to investigate the red drain experience in the Savanagala area. The government begins an urgent investigation. They rule out desert dust, blood cells, and algae. Now, the researchers think they're close to one of the greatest discoveries in the history of science. This is potentially an extraterrestrial organism. Whatever's in the blood rain is alive. Yet unlike all known life on Earth, it's replicating without DNA. Could these tiny cells actually be alien? One clue is spotted a week before the red rain downpour in Sri Lanka. Villagers report seeing strange lights in the sky. A week after the strange lights appear, it starts to rain, red rain. Professor Chandra Wickamasinga thinks that there's a connection between the mysterious life forms in the red rain and the strange lights. I think the cells in this red rain sample may well have come from the meteorite. He's using a powerful electron microscope to scan the meteorite for red rain cells. If he finds them here, it could be the proof of alien life he's been looking for. Excuse me, that's the potential red rain. That's the potential red rain there, isn't it? We are finding these cells right in the deep interior of the meteorite. So, could these strange creatures pose a threat to human life? The fact that the red rain cells have no DNA might be a cause for some concern because these cells, if they interact with living cells on the Earth, might produce some harmful effects. So there could be a serious risk of a pandemic that might even wipe out the whole of mankind. Still, no one knows exactly what these strange cells are and the precise threat they pose to our planet. There's a huge amount that remains unexplained. <laughs> 